Good morning, mighty men and women of God. Today is Friday, November 6th of 2020. What is your response when there are distractions along the path of your walk with the Lord? Are you frustrated or even ready to turn around and return to a comfortable place? The Word of God declares we will have trouble. In fact, if you are not encountering trouble at least every now and again, Perhaps you need to stop and check your road map to see if you're on the correct road. There will always be stumbling blocks placed in our way because there is an enemy of our souls who does not want us to succeed in Christ. Whether they are roadblocks or steep mountains, trust the Lord to direct you in faith. In fact, don't tell God how big your mountains are. Tell the mountains how big your God is. So today, this morning's prayer looks at the mountains that seem to block our destiny. Father, you have called us according to your purposes, but there seem to be mountains in the pathway, many which are big and seemingly impossible to move. This is especially true once we are anointed for the plans you have for us. But you tell us to fear not and be of good courage. David was selected by you, recognized through his faithfulness toward the sheep, then anointed by Samuel as the next king. But before he was able to assume the throne, he faced several enormous mountains. Father, not only did he face Goliath with unwavering faith in you, but he did so only with the tools of a shepherd his staff, a sling, and five smooth stones. He also spent time running for his life from King Saul, hiding in caves and other places, but always honoring the authority over him. David was a man after your own heart because he acknowledged you in most everything he did. When he was facing Goliath, he declared, The Lord does not save with sword or spear, but the battle is the Lord's and he will give you into my hands. When hiding in a cave from King Saul, David whispered, Touch not the Lord's anointed, understanding that his time had not yet come. O Father, that we would have this spirit of obedience and faith in you. Fulfill what you have intended for us from the very start. Father, move in us to overcome our mountains according to your plan, not ours. For in this way, we will touch the lives of others, many of whom are watching that we don't even know about. Use us today to stand up to the things blocking our paths, to show your favor in our lives, for the battle truly is yours. May you be glorified in all we do today, Father. In the name of Jesus, we pray. Amen. This is Jeff with this morning's prayer, praying that you have a great and God-filled day today. Shalom.